It's Ruth Roland talking to you about vibrato. Now vibrato is actually a combination of motions. It's bouncing up and down on the string and rolling along the string. Uh, my students who split these motions up and then put them together learn vibrato much more quickly than uh, I did, <laughs> certainly certainly than I did, uh, and then that most people do. So, and the result is a vibrato that they can make fast or slow or wide or narrow. Um, it's a beautiful, gorgeous vibrato um, that they're happy with, that is comfortable for them to use. So uh, if this interests you, subscribe for more of the same. Before we even start the vibrato exercises, we want to make sure that we can hold the violin without using our hand. So if, if we use the hand, try to hold the violin with our hand, hold the fiddle with our hand, and vibrate at the same time, it's not easy. Uh, the violin may come out from under our jaw um, and it doesn't sound great. Okay, the, the purpose of vibrato is to sound great. So we want to make sure we're holding it well. Um, you may need a shoulder rest. I have uh, episodes on shoulder rests. So you can watch, feel free to browse through my channel. Um, we want to make sure the shoulder stays low uh, and back that the neck is not tense, or the, the teeth are not clenched. So just a real easy hold. And you can balance it on the thumb if you want to, or if you need to. And then we can start our pre-vibrato exercises. So the first one is bouncing. And it's fun to put fruit I use fruit to make it faster. So pear, 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 pear. And you can see every time I say a syllable, my finger touches the fingerboard. It doesn't come off the string and bouncing. We're not jumping off the string. We're sinking down on the string and in the string. Pear. Pear and then accelerate apple. Apple. This is the way we speed up. Apple. Pineapple. 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 Huckleberry. 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 Cantaloupe. 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 Watermelon. 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 And so on. And if at any point you your bouncing gets erratic, like it's slow and fast, and or if you feel tight or it gets jerky. Um, Go back to the previous fruit and uh, then go on to a different finger or string. Um, so those are bounces and eventually we'll want to do them down here as well. But let's start up here um, where the hand is touching the body of the instrument. That's helpful for the rolls. Oh, we don't even have the bow for rolls. So that your hand hits the instrument at the top of its roll. Yeah, you see that. And for rolls, we, we want to use the least amount of motion for the maximum amount of fingertip roll. So we, we want the fingertip to come from uh, its highest point to the lowest point I can reach. And the best way that I found to do that is to use the entire upper arm as one piece with the hand. Boom. Boom. And you see I'm always coming up to the same point. I can feel it's the same point. 
because I have my hand strategically positioned. Yes, if it were down here, maybe I wouldn't always come up to the same point. And if, if you don't come up back to the same point, you return to the same point all the time, you could migrate downward, um, and that's really not, not the best. Okay, it doesn't sound good. It's no way to play in tune. Yeah, so always come back up to the same point. Okay, and these do not, you don't need the bow. They don't get faster. You can do them slower than this if you want. You want constant motion. As soon as you hit the bottom, come start coming back up to the top. As soon as you hit the top, start going back down to the bottom. So it's not clunk clunk, clunk, clunk. It's just very smooth. Yeah. Do these and do the bounces on all fingers and all strings. Now, if you don't have the time or patience to do all fingers, all strings every day, uh, don't drive yourself nuts. We're not in a hurry. Um, vibrato is, is not an emergency. It's better to to do it right than to do it soon. Yeah? Because if you learn it if you learn bad habits, bad habits can can be painful and um, heartbreaking and very time consuming to uh, change. So so um, yes do if you can't do all fingers all strings every day either do have a system um, that will ensure that you get to all fingers and strings every day and I have um, systems that I can share with you if you uh, if, <laughs> if you're not sure what that means or just write down which fingers and strings you did one day so you make sure to do a different ones the next day and you don't end up doing like uh, all favorites, greatest hits kind of thing and that you, uh, uh, your third finger on the A string, that vibrato always sounds fabulous, but the other fingers and strings maybe not so much. So we, we want to avoid that. We want all fingers to be equally gorgeous and uh, so just keep a, a record of it. Okay. So once, once, once you have, once you are doing that vibrato, did we, did we get to uh, bouncing away? So this is the same thing uh, we were doing before with the fruit, but now we're combining it with the rolls. Yeah, we're bouncing in a rolling direction we're rolling off the string and back onto the string. So we have pair, 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 right? Apple, apple. And you don't need to use the bow with this. I was just showing you, yeah? And pineapple, pineapple, and huckleberry, and so on. Same thing, all the fingers, all the strings. After that, you can play specially composed pieces like vibrato blues to practice your vibrato. Practice the being set, being in tune. And the slow vibrato and regular vibrato. And there are pieces, the vibrato blues isn't the only one, but it's, it's, there are several of them um, that, that uh, practice those three stages of vibrato. And I'll, I'll play vibrato blues for you at the end if you're, if you like to learn by ear. If you want music. There's sheet music in the description, linked into the description. Don't forget to subscribe if 
this was useful and hit the notification bell so you you're notified when the, the next video posts. Okay, on to vibrato blues.